So just how do we get to know him? Let's find out. Praise the Lord. One of my favorite stories is a story about a small village, a Chinese village, where they were they would assign jobs to youth. Some of them would be assigned farmers. Some would be turned into fishermen. Some would be turned into craftsmen. As they would see children and they would spot talent in them, they would put them in their jobs. One child was chosen to be a worker of jade. Yeah, he just showed competence in that area. <clears throat> so to begin his training, when he was about 11, 12 years old, they, uh, they brought him to the master jade worker, who would spend three or four hours a day with him, teaching him the craft. The first day he met the master, the master gave him a piece of jade in his hand and sat him down. And he began to talk to him. And he just continued to talk and to talk and to talk. And he talked for about three hours. And that was the end of the lesson. The weird part is not a single word about jade. It was like Chinese philosophies and different things of that nature. He figured, oh, maybe that's just the introduction. The young man came the next day, was given the piece of jade, and was told to stand. And as he stood there for three hours, not moving, just listening to the old man ramble on and on and on. Once again, he did that for two or three days, uh, for two or three hours. And this went on for several weeks. And finally, the boy came in. And the routine had become routine by then. He reached out, he got his piece of jade, and he stood there. But as he stood there, he was uneasy. And something was odd. And the master got upset, said, what's wrong? What's wrong, boy? And he looked at the master. He said, sir, is this really jade? <laughs> you see, the point is, it took getting familiar with Jade to know what it was. He didn't even have to see it. He could tell Jade by just the feel of it. Amen. Well, the scripture says, Oh, that I might know him in the power of his resurrection and in the fellowship of his suffering. And this whole story is to tell you one thing. We don't know Jesus because we know the scriptures. We know him because we know the scriptures and the Holy Ghost. Some people like to read the Bible in Hebrew. Some people like to read it in Greek. I like to read it in the Holy Ghost. There have been numerous times when the Lord has shown me things in the Bible that I didn't understand because of the English translation, but without ever going to a concordance, the Holy Ghost taught me different aspects and elements about the Bible that later when I did go to find and look up, I found out that it was absolutely true. A quick example of that, the Bible says that there were folks in the book of Acts, Ananias and Sapphira, the Bible said they gave up the ghost. Amen. There was a certain Greek word, gave up the ghost, which would be to have a struggle, like uh, having it pried out of your hand. Whereas when Jesus bowed his head, he gave up the ghost. It was not a struggle, it was an offering. And you can look that up yourself if you've got a Greek lexicon. And by the way, if you're asking about what would be a good Bible program, I can recommend at least two that I use extensively. One is the Blue Letter Bible. It's free. It is an online uh, application, so you'll have to go online to use it. But it's very useful in finding words like gave up the ghost. And you can see the different Greek uh, elements to that. And there are several others that you can do. Also, the one I use most extensively is Theophilus. Theophilus is a free program. Also, it's not an online program. Um, you can download it to your computer free of charge. It's very useful. I use a lot of cut and paste. In fact, when you see uh, the scripture scrolling across the page on these videos, it's a simple cut and paste. I could explain it, but you'd go to sleep. Amen. Anyway, those are two Bible studies that I would highly recommend. Again, Blue Letter Bible, it's free, and uh, you can donate, of course, and you probably should if you're using them. Uh, and also, the um, Theophilus is a wonderful program. I love that one because you can take it. Now, the Blue Letter Bible has a phone app that you can download. So, um, if you want to verify some of the things that I say in my videos, you're welcome to do so. I, in fact, I would I would encourage you to do so. 
And so may God keep you and watch over you, and may his angels take charge of you, may his face shine upon you. In Jesus' name, I want you to get to know Jesus. That's the purpose of all of these videos. God bless you.